That's pretty wild if that thing would just bite, crush that concrete like that. And that's on a 120 size machine right there, 200. That's one of the reduced, reduced tail swing machines right there. I actually uh, ran that machine in one of the Kior videos with a hammer on it one day with Brian. Got the 120 right there, 700. He's digging, and 345 transfer, and they're gonna uh, start the crusher up here in a little bit, I believe. It's moving. There it goes. Pure size slab, but it's a big one. Trying to take pictures too. He reaching out.
That rebar is tough. Even in a small piece of rebar, I could feel the ground pull over here when he pulled it loose just then. So right now, currently, in Bangor, Maine, it's 8.47 p.m. It is 44 degrees here. It's the low tonight is supposed to be 37. So yes, it's pretty chilly. I'm staying right here where the, by where the show is going to be taking place. And uh, situated and settled in. Uh, today's video how cool is that man to get to see those huge machines like that run 345 uh excavators are are big machines the 700s are even way bigger than that uh those 355s had a two and an eighth yard bucket on them i have no idea what that 700 has on it but it's a lot bigger than two and an eighth i'm gonna say it's probably a five or six yard bucket on that thing but just the big things to bring in. That's the last video from that. That was actually, I can't remember the hospital name that that was that they were tearing down, but that's an old abandoned hospital from uh, Vicksburg, Mississippi. It's been abandoned since back in the 80s. Uh, there's a lot of history uh, on that hospital. Uh, I'll try to look it up right here right quick while I'm talking to y'all. And where you can see this fun my text from oh shoot wrong one man Brian let's see let me scroll 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 uh coon k-u-h-n memorial hospital vicksburg mississippi there's a lot of stuff on youtube about it some of y'all who like to look up stuff check it out uh, on there you can see it in all its glory how big it was and and all that stuff but uh big thanks to them for letting me hang around with them y'all gonna see them more they actually moved the 700 today uh, if you're not following Brian m and m demolition on uh, instagram <coughs> he posted a video of the 700 on the rail trailer today they just take the stick boom off of it, stick boom and the bucket off of it and move it like that. That's what they do. That 345 that you've seen in the video, the yellow caterpillar one, uh, is set up for a high reach boom on it. I think he said he can reach 92 feet with that one. It's actually got the, the cab and stuff on it that'll tilt back on it. And uh, it's got the heavier counterweight on the back of it also too. So tomorrow, uh, I will be with Rodebeck uh, setting up. Uh, today was a very interesting travel day. Today was the closest I've ever come to missing a plane in my life. I'll explain more to that in Atlanta about that. But uh, appreciate all y'all. If you're in the area, uh, New Hampshire, Maine, across the border into Canada, even New York, Massachusetts, all these states right here y'all come on up here man i'm gonna be up here both days friday and saturday people driving by looking at me like i got four heads holding this camera out in front of me but anyhow who cares uh y'all come by and check it out i'll be at the rotebeck uh uh display there you can't miss rotebeck man they have a spread set up right there so uh we'll catch y'all later later taters <laughs>